guys, this is my Pebble 2 smartwatch review. Right here, as you can see, with my Mario watch face. I got this a few weeks ago. I um, The reason why I got it was because it's relatively inexpensive at $99. 60 something dollars on Black Friday. Don't get me started on that. And um, it works with the iPhone. So I was like, hey, I'll give it a shot, you know? Because the Apple Watch, forget it. I don't have that kind of money. And even if I did, it seems excessive for something that is not even independent. You know, it has to be tethered to your phone. So if for $600 or $300, whatever it is, that watch needs to make a phone call all by itself and do a lot of other things as well. But anyways, so I ordered this Pebble 2 smartwatch. It came. I was really excited. And... Um, got it all set up really easily. It's set up, uh, there's an app that you download on your phone, and you can choose like from hundreds of different watch faces. This one I have is actually, uh, forget what that's called when it's just like a black and white screen, like an e reader screen, which has a benefit because um, the battery lasts a really long time and you can see it good in bright light and um, situations. So. Everything's going great, and we kind of became friends. And when I went home to visit with my mom and family, I forgot the charger. And it takes, like, this weird charger that nothing else uses, like these two um, contacts right here, and it lays across in a magnetic way. And um, so I couldn't just use any charger. And so it was slowly dying while I was home. Every time I'd look at it, and, you know, the life support's getting low. Beep, 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 beep. I was very, very upset. And I said, Mom, I kind of miss my watch. And she's like, oh, they, oh, you mean your friend, the smart watch? I said, yeah, it is my friend. I don't know. It's just because it's like always got my back. It's always, it always tells me when I got a text message or a phone call coming in. Let's me know my Instagrams and my Twitter tweets and everything. I can get my sports scores. So I love it. I'm not here. Um, I'm sleeping. Yeah, I have, a, I, have a, I have, I have a male soother, and I'm both flattered and annoyed at the same time. So, anyways, where was I? Talking about the watch. Where was I, sweet? Oh, shoot. Um. Damn it. So anyhow, when I got back from my vacation, first thing I did was charge up my phone. And the second thing I did was drop it on the damn bathroom floor, and I got this crack across the screen. I mean, I don't know if you can see it. There it is. It cracked just that easily. And then when I went online to see maybe if I could get a, a refund or a return because it hadn't been that long, I all I saw was ads for watch screen protectors and stuff like that after the fact. Hindsight 2020. I'm not a big fan of, of little sayings and stuff, but I don't know. I find myself using them all the time. But luckily, the crack wasn't too... It was, like, not on top. It was underneath somehow. So I knew that eventually the watch probably would stop not stop operating correctly. But I know I had some time. So I started saving up money for a new one for inevitably when this one stopped working. And then I get this email. And I quote, I Pebble. Pebble's next step with Fitbit. Of course, they try to frame it as some sort of positive spin, but it's not. They're basically telling you they're throwing you away, and uh, there's nothing you can do about it. Dear Pebblers, thank you all for being such loyal supporters and champions of the Pebble community and brand. You helped start something fantastic when you backed our first Kickstarter project, yada, yada, yada. We've shipped over 2 million Pebbles around the world. We love sharing Pebble's story with you, whether it's a new product, software update, or simply staying in touch online and in person. Today, we're closing one chapter and inviting you along for what's next. We hope to answer as many questions as possible in our formal announcement, Kickstarter update, links to this and that, yada yada. Pebble is joining Fitbit. Fitbit has agreed to acquire key Pebble assets. Due to various factors, Pebble can no longer operate as an independent entity, and we have made the tough decision to shut down the company.
The deal finalized today preserves as much as Pebble as possible. Pebble is ceasing all hardware operations. We no longer manufacturing, promoting, or selling new products. Active Pebble models in the wild will continue to work. Making awesome has happen will live on Fitbit. I doubt it. I can't stand Fitbit. Much of our team and resources will join Fitbit. No thank you. To deliver new moments of awesome. They are in quotations. In future Fitbit products. No thank you. Developer tools and experiences. No thank you. As our transition progresses, we'll have exciting new stories to tell and milestones to celebrate. I am not a fan of change. I was friends with my watch and I was very happy with it. It was cool. And it works with Apple. Kind of like a like a underground you know Apple doesn't like to play well with others. And now all of a sudden they just cut it off like that with no warning. So what do I do? Instead of maybe um, trying to figure out what I'm going to do next or getting a different brand, I order another Pebble watch from Amazon before they're gone. And a slightly upgraded one because I know this one is going to die pretty soon from being broken. So that's what I did. That's how much friends I am with this watch. I don't really understand it, but I like it. I don't know. I just feel it does just enough. It doesn't do too much. It's simple. I don't think someone will try to try to jump me on the street for it. And it does everything I needed to, a little bit of what I wanted to, and that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. So my friend at Pebble Watch, and that's my story about that. So pretty soon Pebble will be no more. But I'm going to keep it rolling as long as I can. I'm going to keep that Pebble Watch working. And when my new one gets here, I'll, I'll be even happier. So that's my story of the Pebble Watch. And uh, that's the end of the Pebble Watch. So get yours now if you think you want one. It's pretty cool. Bye.